While I was preparing for a training workshop in Boston, I had an interesting exchange with a client. They wanted to make sure that everything was planned correctly, and they worried that they were bothering me with the details. Bothering me? Let's have ourselves a pocket-sized pep talk, because sometimes podcasts write themselves, and you'll see just what I mean. A pocket-sized pep talk podcast that can help energize your business and your life with a quick, inspiring message. Now, here's your host, Rob Jealous. I'm a details man, and that's how I think of myself. Some might refer to me as a bit obsessive, while others might call me a pain in the neck. Guilty as charged. However, at the end of the day, I'm kind of proud of any of those names you might want to call me. As long as it ensures the job you ask me to do is done right. When I work for a speaker's bureau, it usually makes me smile when I catch the clause in almost every contract that states this. The speaker must be in the room one hour before the presentation is delivered. One hour? I can't remember the last time I didn't allow for at least two hours before the presentation. No matter what time my presentation is during the day, I'm always in the room at 6.30 a.m. Make sure everything will be right when I do speak. Coincidentally, that's when the hotels and the companies that handle the AV and setup are getting the room ready. There's always the risk of technical issues, and that's the time to address them. As an aside, I haven't had a mix-up or a significant problem with AV for my delivery in, I'd say, at least 20 years. Now, you think... With thousands of presentations I've delivered, I'd have at least one significant malfunction, but I guess I'm just lucky. For presentations that are afternoon deliveries, bureaus contracts state that I can fly out the morning of the presentation as long as I have a backup flight. Fly out the day of a presentation, whether it's for a bureau or a workshop I've sold, I always fly out the day before a presentation, no matter what time the presentation is being delivered. There's always the possibility of airplane delays and weather issues to work around. And leaving the day before significantly decreases the risk of not arriving on time. It also means I'll be rested and ready to go. Although this may seem hard to believe, I haven't missed a seminar in over 20 years. Again, I guess I'm just lucky. Now, one of the trickiest aspects of doing what I do is getting the material to line up and fit the client's needs. There really isn't a lot of guesswork here. It's more a matter of flushing out the information from our clients and continuing to poke and question till it got it just right. To clarify this point a bit, it's never my intent or the client's intent to forget to tell me critical information. Often my clients have no idea what I'm looking for. It's my responsibility to get the details just right. And that often means I have to ask my clients a lot of questions until I'm absolutely sure I understand their expectations and they understand me. Surprisingly, even though I've worked with hundreds of different companies and organizations, I can't think of a time in which there was a mix-up in what was requested And what was delivered? More blind luck, I suppose. That's why I had to smile while preparing for this week's seminar in Boston. See, I was coordinating an event with people who approached their work much like I approach mine. We were working on a half-day workshop for his company, and we spent a lot of time getting it just right. There were drafts and redrafts of agendas. There were case studies that required multiple rewrites and shifting logistics. At one point during flurry of emails, one of my clients apologized and wrote, I'm just nutty about the details. I quickly explained how appreciative I was that he was as nutty about the details as he was. Quite frankly, life would be a whole lot easier if everyone was as nutty about the details as this company was. So, as with any good podcast, The message turns to you. Are you nutty about details? Are you willing to be the person who might be considered a bit obsessive? Make sure you get it right. Are you willing to show up a day early 
rather than an hour early? Are you guilty of sending out a flurry of emails to avoid what some would call bad luck? If you are, I'm willing to bet you'll see luck favor you. I'm always a fan of Thomas Jefferson's quote regarding luck, where he said, I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. To me, it's all in the details. Thanks so much for listening. If you enjoyed today's show, please rate and recommend it on iTunes, Outcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also get more information on this show and Rob at Jollis.com.